So it's really about time we're actually seeing this happen right now. Digistream is finally bringing out new mods to the Void Trader. Void Trader is now here. And if you missed last week's new Prime mod, all right, don't worry. All that stuff will come around. Um, and especially if you don't pick up this new Prime mod, it'll come around in uh, the next rotation or another rotation. Not the next new rotation, the another rotation. So it'll take a while for that to come back around, but it will come back around. So, yeah, so far we've seen two new primed mods. You see one right here, which is called Prime Redirection. This is 180%. Shield capacity, and especially when it's at max rank, 180% shield. So, that's really good. Um, very, very expensive mod. Um, especially using Endo to uh, level this mod up or rank it up. Man, you know you know how it goes. It takes like 40,000 Endo. So, yeah, pretty crazy. Right? Now, Barricades here has a new Prime mod, which he is located on La Ronda Relay. So go ahead and on, on Mercury. And Convulsion. Prime Convulsion was a pistol mod. This is going to be 165% con uh, electricity damage. And this is really, really great. You know? Definitely could use more electricity damage when it comes down to some of these uh, weapons. For sure. Um, pistols definitely need more mods. Uh, I guess. Not really. More like shotguns. You know? But hopefully that'll start coming soon. Is more shotgun mods or maybe a prime shotgun mod, you know. So we can definitely look forward to that when we get newer prime shotgun mods. Like there's some things that haven't been done yet for shotgun. So now for this pistol, obviously this is pretty good. A lot of people are gonna pick up on this and then you know sell this mod as well. So I'm sure this mod will go definitely go for a lot, um, and especially it's at like 350 ducats. Yeah, so that's gonna, you know, that 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 just sucks. I gotta farm that stuff. So I gotta go ahead and out and farm some ducats to get this. But this is pretty good. Now the one thing that obviously that sucks about prime mods is that this is a 16 uh, capacity that you have to fit on your weapon. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of farming to put on some weapons. You know, that's the only thing that sucks about prime mods is that they're very, very uh, large in capacity. So yeah, that's gonna be some farming. To do and some forming to do on some of these weapons but definitely one thing that's good about this is that i think you can definitely start expecting newer prime mods it's going to be coming from barrel key tier all right so definitely start expecting that for every two weeks he comes around and like i said before if you have missed if you're going to miss this one or if you miss the last prime mod the new one then don't worry everything is going to come back around so you don't have to worry about none of that because it's still gonna be coming around. It might take a while, but it's it is gonna come back around. So, but yeah, definitely start expecting this stuff because I am surprised. I want to see what's next. I want to see if they're gonna make a shotgun one next. Like that should be really really good because shotguns do need it. You know, if they're not gonna make new mods for shotguns, then at least bring out some prime mods because those prime mods will definitely help with just shotgun um doing more damage you know as well you know you do have the galvanized mods but you know like i said there's more not uh, more mods that need to be for shotgun rather than primary or se uh, secondary so yeah let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel all right follow me on all social medias links are in the description Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all, and I'll see you in the next video.